This is Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 17, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was down today by 1.02 points or 0.25% to 407.66. Total trade volume was up but still light with 110,096 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 650.3 million Khmer real or roughly 157,820 US dollars. On the main board, three stocks were up. The Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority saw the biggest percentage gain, rising 0.57% or 40 real to 7,000 real per share. Grand Twins International followed second, up 0.44% or 10 real to 2,280 real per share, while the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port was also up by 0.15%. On the downside, we saw Pestec Cambodia go down 2.3% or 50 real to 2,120 real per share, followed by Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ, which was down 0.9% or 20 real to 2,200 real per share. Other stocks down were the Sienegville Autonomous Port and Cam GSM, while Akleda Bank and MJQ Education remained flat. On the growth board, DBD Engineering saw no change to its share price of 2,280 real per share, while JS Land was down 2.12% or 80 real to 3,700 real per share. Akleda Bank recorded the highest trade volume of the day with 46,424 shares changing hands at a value of 348.2 million Khmer real or roughly 84,500 US dollars, which accounted for around 33% of all shares traded on June 17th. The company that recorded the second highest number of trades was DBD Engineering, with 26,799 shares changing hands at a value of 60.9 million real or 14,800 US dollars. In other business news, a new direct flight route between Phnom Penh and New Delhi, India has been officially inaugurated by Cambodia Angkor Air. The first flight took off on June 16th, and the new route will operate four flights a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, departing Phnom Penh for New Delhi at 4.45 p.m., while return flights from New Delhi to Phnom Penh are scheduled for 8.50 p.m. The Khmer real to USD continued to weaken to 4,119 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down to 105.54. Oil was steady on Monday after Chinese economic data, underscoring a bumpy recovery for the world's biggest crude importer, offset hopes for a boost to demand from the summer driving season in the Northern Hemisphere. Global benchmark Brent crude futures were up 6 cents at 82.68 US dollars a barrel. Gold prices eased as investors awaited more U.S. economic data, while reports from last week showed that inflation was stabilizing and lifted hopes for the U.S. Federal Reserve to cut interest rates later this year. Spot gold was down 0.4% at 2,322.24 U.S. dollars per ounce after rising more than 1% on Friday. U.S. gold futures fell 0.5% to 2,337.10 U.S. dollars. As of the Cambodian market's closing on Monday, June 17th, U.S. stock futures were little changed as traders in the U.S. start a holiday-shortened week. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average hovered under the flat line, S&P 500 futures slipped 0.06%, while Nasdaq 100 futures added 0.04%. This was Darshan Agochen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 17th.